a concours unlike any other. I've taken part in a lot of these events around the world over the years. This is the only one which combines royal patronage, access to the royal properties, and a truly diverse selection of cars spanning a century of the motoring history. It's an event which attracts the absolute creme de la creme of collectors and motor cars from around the world. There's nothing else quite like it. There's always a human story with every car. The cars that are gathered here today are amongst the most historic in the world. You have here cars that have raced in some of the greatest competitions in the world, Le Mans, for example, that have triumphed in some of the most uh, prestigious Concours d'Elegance over the decades. One of the cars that particularly uh, took my interest is the Delahaye, the 12 cylinder Delahaye, which next to my Bugatti, rather, rather overshadows the Bugatti. But that's a car, that's a, a car that was built for the World's Fair in New York in 1940. And if I remember correctly, this is a number of years since I've heard the story, it was later um, abandoned outside a truck driver's home in yes, suburban America because he had moved the car for the owner. The owner had not paid the transport bill and it sat in a shed next to his house for 40 years without an engine in it. That to me is probably the car of the event just because it's so spectacular. It'd be interesting to see whether that car runs away with one of the big prizes today. And well, like last night we were in the Royal Yacht Britannia, amazing venue, amazing night, not a typical Thursday night, and, uh, and the, uh, they've just announced the Scottish um, Motoring Hall of Fame and, uh, with Jim Clark. One, you say the obvious choice is Jim Clark to so Jackie Stewart, but the third person they nominated last night to accept into the Motoring Hall of Fame was Ian Callum, or only Ian Callum, and we were very humble with him. You are pinching yourself yet again. I first watched Jim race at uh, Brands Hatch in 1964 when he won the British Grand Prix and uh, he had gloves just like that then, you know, with, with JC on them and here we are holding one of Jim's trophies, albeit posthumously, but it's great for the Jim to be honoured in this way and uh, for the family to, to, to be here and also uh, I brought Jim's sister Isabel with me so that was lovely for her to be here to, to accept it on behalf of the family.